Hi, this is Patrick Mata from Ole Imports and we're going to talk a little bit about Orleans Bourbon. Orleans Bourbon is a manzanilla produced uh, by the royal family in Spain and they have been producing this manzanilla for the last 40 years and they have always done this for family consumption, they have never sold it and last year my business partner who is a good friend of the royal family was able to convince them to start commercializing their manzanilla. So it's um, a great, uh, wonderful jewel of manzanilla uh, produced uh, in a little palace that is in the town of Sanlúcar de Bajameda. And it's quite, quite a jewel because it's aged for five years under flor. Flor is the yeast that protects, protects the wine from oxidizing and this flor, this yeast, imparts flavor. And the longer the wine is in contact with the flor, the more complexity and depth of flavor. Also, um, the fact that it's aged under flor for five years allows the wine to age longer because it's more stable. Uh, most manzanillas are aged for two years, and this is aged for five years. Also very unique about this manzanilla, the fact that it's only 2,000 cases produced for the world. Um, if you go to this area, you have very large producers that produce many thousands of cases, sometimes in the hundreds of thousands. And the price of those manzanillas is the same as the price of Orleans Bourbon, but Orleans Bourbon is only 2,000 cases produced, so it's a more artisanal product. You can focus more on the quality of each of the bottles that is produced and the fact that it comes from a vineyard by the name of Torre Breva makes it also extremely unique. No? The fact that all the grapes come from one plot of land that is known for being a plot of land that produces very high quality grapes. And this plot of land called Torre Breva, which is the family estate of the royal family in this area, this plot of land is within the area of Pago de Valvaina, which is the closest area of the, the Cherry Triangle, the closest area to the water, to the Atlantic Ocean. So the closer you are to the water, the more exposed you are to the humidity and to the cool breezes of the Atlantic Ocean, allowing the grapes to ripen more slowly. And because of that, the grapes are able to retain more acidity and they can showcase a brighter expression. And the grapes that are grown in this area called Pago de Valvaina are always the best grapes to produce manzanilla or fig. Lastly, um, interesting to note that all the soils where this manzanilla is produced from this single vineyard called Torre Breva all the soils here are albariza, which is the most important soil um, in, in the area of Jerez. You have different types of soil, but the most important type of soil that makes the best grapes in the area is this type of soil called albariza. And albariza is the soil that allows the, um, the, to absorb most amount of water, allowing the, the vineyards, the vines, to survive the very dry summers. So the Alvariza soil is like a sponge that is able to absorb a lot of water during the winter and during summertime when it's extremely dry, the vines that are planted in this type of soil are able to survive and provide enough nourishment to those grapes to fully ripen. Uh, in this area you also have sand, you have clay, you have other types of soil that are not as conducive to produce high quality grapes. So, in summary, this is a manzanilla that comes from a single vineyard located within the Pago de Valvaina. The soil here is albariza, is aged for five years, which is very rare in manzanilla. And it's only 2,000 cases produced for the world and very artisanal. And it's a manzanilla that has been produced by the royal family for the last 40 years. And now, finally, the first time last year, they started commercializing. So extremely unique beverage that is also very versatile with food. Until next time, from Olay Imports, cheers.